Hi guys, my name is Megan Carpenter. I am William Lucero's cousin, and I was supposed to come in and talk to you guys about my condition. It's called Churg Strauss vasculitis. Um, I am unfortunately flaring right now, which is where my condition's out of control, so I haven't been at school, and I have, and because I'm not at school, I can't come in and talk to you, so I kind of made a video so that you guys can at least get the overview, and I'll figure out how to do Q&A later. Um, so, anyway, my name is Megan Carpenter, I am 18 years old, I am a senior at Sandia Prep, and I was diagnosed almost exactly three years ago. Uh, at the beginning of spring break in ninth grade. Um, I have what's called an autoimmune condition, which is where my own immune system is responsible for attacking me instead of curing me of anything else. Instead of uh, hunting down d germs and pollen and foreign invaders, uh, there's a certain type of white blood cell that's supposed to handle allergens that instead is attacking me. So. In the simplest terms, I am allergic to myself. Um, that's Churg Strauss. Um, that's a certain type of white blood cell called an eosinophil, and they essentially block off the small blood vessels to keep and keep um, what red blood cells and blood flow and oxygen from getting to whatever those blood vessels lead to. Um, in my case, when I was diagnosed, it blocked off the blood to my foot, which you would think would be like whatever, at least it's not your heart, but what happened is it almost killed off all of the nerves in my foot, and because it didn't quite kill them off, instead of not feeling anything, um, I'm in constant pain because they're trying to regrow and they send pain signals to my brain. Um, I do know people who have had their vasculitis attack their heart, their liver, their lungs, their brain. It can hit anywhere, and, um, if left untreated, no matter where it's attacking, it can be deadly. Um, so, now I'm going to explain about the medicines. Uh, Church Strauss is fought, it's not curable, but it is treatable with um, various different types of drugs that help keep the, um, keep the white blood cells in line. Uh, one of these, the main one, is called prednisone. It's a steroid, but not like a baseball steroid. It's um, a type of steroid that people use for asthma and for other conditions like mine that helps to um, cut down inflammation. Uh, and basically I take a lot of that because it helps keep the swelling in my veins down. And um, prednisone comes with a lot of different side effects including like weight gain, mood swings, um, it makes your uh, skin more uh, it makes your skin thinner. It does a lot of different, a lot of different types of damage, but it does keep me alive, so I still have to keep taking it. Um, another of my main medicines right now is a type of chemotherapy. It's a pill, not like radiation therapy, but um, it still helps to suppress my immune system and keep it from attacking me. The third main. Uh, drug I'm on right now is called Rituxan, and that's an infusion, like, um, it's where I go in the hospital for a day, and they hook me up to an IV, and, um, they pump medicine in me for six hours straight. It is very boring, but, again, it keeps me alive, so, um, that's, those are the main three medicines that I'm taking right now. Uh, they all have their different side effects, though prednisone has the most, um, Honestly, the prednisone has as many side effects as there are symptoms of my disease, and they're almost as bad, just not as deadly. Um, some of the symptoms of my disease are fatigue, which is like when you're really sick and you cannot get out of bed. Um, I have that all the time. Um, there's muscle soreness, joint aches, uh, dizziness, um, random nerve pain. Um, there's a lot of different things that happen with that, but, um, that's, those are the main ones. So, now, the reason that I'm not here talking to you right now is because I'm undergoing what's called a flare. That's where my condition goes completely out of control, and so they've gotten me back on really high doses of the medicine to try and uh, keep it, get it back under control. 
And so right now I'm actually going through all of the symptoms that I just mentioned, um, and more, but, uh, but, so, so I'm not at school. I've missed almost two weeks out of the past two weeks. Um, I haven't been to school for a full day since Valentine's, so, uh, that's one of the biggest problems with, um, my condition is because I'm a student. It makes it a lot harder for me to go to school. Um, a lo most people who get this disease are 35 or older, and so they ha they work or they're on disability, but because I'm still in high school, I don't have that option. Um, so I'm still going to school through all of this. I had to quit all of my sports, and instead I manage. Um, I'm, I write, I read, I, ma I help manage sports. And I work a lot on makeup work. It is actually a marketable job skill, my ability to do makeup work. But um, I'm hoping that next year in college that won't be quite such a big deal. Um, but basically, the point of it is, church jobs is hard, and it does a lot of really bad things to your body, but it's possible to overcome it. Um, it's possible to overcome anything. Like... In Finding Nemo, if you think of the Just Keep Swimming, Just Keep Swimming song, that's kind of how my life is. And so, I guess that's the lesson that I've learned from George Strauss, is you can't just stop. You can't just let it control you. No matter what you're going through, uh, just kind of push through and um, it'll work. It'll all work out in the end. Okay, well, uh, that's it for my little overview thing. And hopefully I have figured out a way by now to do some kind of Q&A through William. But if I haven't, then that's it. Thanks.